Go into your action editor and then make a new animation. Rename this to run. Select all your keyframes and delete them. And then go back and select your run animation. And here you're going to make your run cycle. I'm only going to briefly go over how to make the run cycle. Since your run is very much going to depend on your character and your character's characteristics. So I've gone ahead and completed the run animation as you can see here. And one very important thing to note is I have included in the takeoff. And I have also included in the stopping part of the run. So the beginning frame of the run animation and the end frame of the run animation is the idle position. This is very important so that you have a smooth transition when you're going from your idle to your run and your run back into your idle. To animate the run itself I basically used a bunch of references and keyframe animated it myself. To help you with your own animation these are basically the key keyframes which you need to put down and when you're done now it is time to separate the animation. So you have the takeoff, the run cycle and the stopping as their own independent animations. First thing you're going to do is get a new animation. You're going to name it something like idle to run and then you're going to go until you find the first frame of your run animation which will be around about here and that's what I'm going to have the idle to run animation end and this exact frame is also going to be the beginning of the run cycle and go ahead and delete all the keyframes after this one this will leave you with just the takeoff animation go to the last keyframe switch to your run animation and then delete all the start keyframes then drag the whole animation back to the start now to separate the stopping part from the rest of the run animation do the same make a new animation name this something like run to idle go to the last pause of your run animation before the stopping part starts and then delete all the keyframes before that drag the whole animation to the start which will leave you with just the stopping part of the animation then go back into your run animation go to the last keyframe of the run cycle and then delete all the keyframes after that since you don't need the stopping part of the run cycle anymore to make this run animation loopable get the first keyframe and place it over the last keyframe quickly check if it works by making the last keyframe the end of the timeline as you can see it's working pretty perfectly and now you're ready to integrate these animations into the game engine what we want is when we press a button like w we want our character to be running and then when we let go of w then our character should go from the running back into the idle and this should basically be all you need so to walk you through what's happening here is in state one which is our idle state our character is always going to be playing the idle animation until the w key is pressed and then when that happens our character is going to play the idle to run animation and then go into state two when it goes into state two if we are still pressing the w button our character is going to do the running animation however if we're not pressing the w button because of the invert button then what it's going to do is send us back into state one which is the idle animation and for the transition from the second state to the first state we're going to want an action actuator and have that stopping animation so that our character's animation leads back into the idle position so turn off continue and get the run to idle animation make the end frame whatever the last frame was minus 79 and name this run to idle and if we press p to go into the game engine if i press w and hold it down our character is going to be doing the run animation and if i let go of w our character transitions back into the idle animation. And that is this part of the tutorial done.